we will be yes, we will be adding and matching implant position data in the iMetric 4D software. So this is how we do this as the basics. We start this is, we start the software and the first file we upload if you're designing in ExoCAD, we're gonna drag and drop the dental project. And I just changed my screw to the screw that I used. It's on there. And then we hit apply to. Then I am going to drag and drop the implant position files of the art that I'm working on. The full upper or a full lower or both. You would add in one or the other or both here. Now the implant positions are added. And then I'm going to add the STL of the cone rep bodies matched in geo position into the software because you're matching it to the fixed position of the STL. So make sure this file is matched to all the rest of your data first. So when it's standard, it's supposed to be implant and then the arch, upper, upper. Standard, implant, upper, upper. It would be standard, implant, lower, lower if it was a lower arch. So we'll hit OK and then we can hit finish. So now everything's in here and we can hit start align. And we'll orient this how the diagram is off to the left. And we'll start off with number three. And we just need to make sure the proper scan body is marked up here. And you change it as your first step if you need to. But I can cylinders are the best. So we'll hit three and then we will hit three dots and then align. Accept and then do that for every single implant location. So here we go. This is the fun stuff. Yep. This is the fun stuff. It's always the, the next part that I always get confused on. If it's yellow, it's a good match. Awesome. So I'll hit accept and then the green check mark. So now your geometry is matched. I need to move the photogametry to the geometry. So upper implants is your moving set, and your fixed set will be upper rest scan matched. Compute, apply. Now they are matched, and you should have the arrow pointing in the direction where the ref body is going up. The arrow should not be going in, it should be going up like that. So it's done, and then you hit the floppy disk to save, and you're saving out your upper implants, you hit OK. And the best part about it is it automatically renames the file and goes right into your folder because we drag and drop the dental project. Then you can hit design and your implant position below.